The minimum wage, which is usually revealed annually, is in pursuance of the Labour Act 2003 at 651 Section 1131A and comes after concluded negotiations by the National Tripartite Committee on its determination. The new wage was put together, taking into account the impact of the coronavirus pandemic on the national economy, cost of living, sustainability of businesses and the desirability of attaining high level of employment. The Tripartite Committee also concluded on the 2022 National Daily Minimum Wage, pegging it at 13 cities 53 pesos and it will take effect on January 1, 2022. Interactions with some Ghanaians in the ministry's enclave in Accra proved most of them were unhappy with the reviewed figure. They opined that a 6% increment was still not enough to fully take care of an individual's needs. It's never fine at all. Looking at the state of the economy, everything increased. Look at taxes and all those stuff and that amount given to us, I don't think it's fair on the side of workers. At least it should have been around 30-40% because effective tomorrow, fares have been increased by 13% plus and look at the increment when it comes to minimum wage, so I don't think it's fair. To have cities, 53 pesos can never be enough for the average Ghanaian. We know even this can never be used to feed animals in a day. Because looking at the economy now and even the price, the, the uh, fair price, how much would a person pay to the workplace? Because only few people transact businesses in their own homes. So the person has to sit in car, move about, and by the time you realize this amount is gone. Honestly speaking, as a Ghanaian, it's not enough. Looking at the cost involved that we care, incur in a day, even our transportation is more than the 12 cities that have been increased to. So I would suggest for a fair wage to be at least 25, 25 cities, so that at least the average Ghanaian or even the low income earner can also do something about it. Some even went ahead to tell City Business News how insufficient the current minimum wage was compared to their daily expenses. I'm coming from Adeso between Ensaom and Ensamankese. Getting here, I've spent close to 25 cities. And if I should eat, I should have my lunch here in Accra, before I get to my place, 60 cities, 70 cities is gone. So, I, yes, at least I spend about 50 cities a day. I live at Ofanko, and from there, I'll take another car. So, I'll say to and fro to my workplace will cost me about seven cities a day. So look at the transportation, seven cities a day. What about my breakfast? What about my lunch? What about my supper? Other Ghanaians, however, commended the government for the 6% increment. Looking at the condition that we find ourselves, I think the government is trying uh, because it's better than not adding anything. So I, for me, it's normal. I think it could have been better, but circumstances, I mean, we're not in normal times and um, seeing where we've come from and where we're going, I think we, are, we need to commend the government for now. And I know, I mean, the president will give them a better deal once the economy improves and things start to work out very well.